Hey guys, it's Stephanie with SimRiki and welcome to a Sims 4 speed build slash collab with my friend Max of Max Playground. I will make sure to link her video in the description below so you guys can go check her out. So I'm going to try to explain what we're doing. I guess it's a really easy concept, but basically I took an apartment, which I think, yeah, it's up in the corner. 702 Zen View is the address. And I basically just reconstructed it, tore down most of the walls, sort of rebuilt what I could. And I I am decorating it to the best of my abilities with all of my stuff packs and expansion packs and game packs. But the kicker is my friend Max, who uses custom content, and you guys probably know I do not use custom content, is going to renovate this apartment using, you guessed it, custom content. So that's where the collab kicks in. She's going to actually have a completely separate video of the speed build on her channel. And I think... I think I'm gonna try to put a screenshot, like a little teaser screenshot at the end of this video to show you what hers looks like, like just a little a little sneak peek. So if you guys are interested, you could go take a look. I highly recommend you do that, of course, because Max is amazing and her videos are great. And I obviously am gonna watch because I am so curious to see what this apartment looks like with custom content. I mean, I do think custom content is really, really cool. There's some amazing things, stuff that I wish I could use but I don't want to muddle up my game with it, and that's just a personal choice. I did dabble with the custom content when I first started playing The Sims um, in The Sims 3, and it was just really glitchy for me. I mean, I don't know. I had lots of issues, <laughs> lots of weird issues, and maybe custom content's come a long way since then. Maybe it's much better on The Sims 4, but either way, I figure it's not really something I want to put on the channel and then let's say you guys like this apartment and want to download it and then you have to find all the custom content and blah blah blah. I know I'm whiny but that's that's the main reason I don't use it. Um, I think we have plenty of stuff to work with in The Sims anyways but again I do really appreciate the custom content and I do think it's fun and I cannot wait to see Max's version of this apartment. The only rule really was she just couldn't change the layout so basically um, where the kitchen is has to be a kitchen where the bedroom is has to be a bedroom etc. So speaking of the kitchen, obviously that's what I'm working on first. And I didn't realize it at first, but I've actually renovated this exact apartment before. Um, so I had to try really hard to make it look different, but I will remember to link that video in the description below so you can check that one out. And actually part of that original video got kind of messed up anyway, so it ended up being like just a speed build of the top portion and then a mini apartment tour. So um, yeah, I mean, it was it was a lot different. Well, at least I hope it was. So <laughs> I'm definitely playing with more colors this time around. And this kitchen just had me inspired for the whole build. This purple and minty green together, I think are beautiful. Such a fun color combo. I mean, this tile is so, so pretty. I should actually play with more colors. I'm so shocked that I don't play with colors colors that much considering how much I love rainbow like rainbow is my favorite color don't say it's not a color because it is and it's my favorite so this this house does not lack color I will tell you that much or this apartment I should say um even this table is so cute just stuff I normally wouldn't use because it doesn't necessarily match everything but I feel like when I'm playing with pops of colors I can get really creative and yes it can look kitschy and yes, it could look eccentric. And yes, it could look kind of, I don't know, old fashioned, maybe, or maybe not old fashioned, but I don't know, it can border cheesy, let's just put it that way. But that will not stop me from playing with colors. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm getting a little bit excited here. I just I really love colors. I love them. They make me so happy. All right, so we have a little bit of tea back there. And then these little drink trays, I think look like placemats. So I tend to use those at my, at my little kitchen counter is my little bar area and I wanted this even though it's an apartment and not a restaurant I thought putting just like the fun little chalkboard menu would be really cute in here um yeah I just I don't know it's a cute little touch something that I would definitely have in my house you could change that up and draw whatever you want on there if it was real I mean obviously in the sims you can't uh maybe maybe if you click on the little color tool it shows something different but also put a little cup of coffee back there a little picture of a cup of coffee on the wall and now we're moving on to the living room and I hate how big this porch is or this balcony I should say so I did this in the other build that I did as well just kind of extended it over there just to give you a little bit more room in the living room and yeah just fixing up the wallpaper making every sure 
making every sure oh my gosh I could talk making sure everything matches and this flooring oh gosh it looks kind of gray but it's more like a steel blue which was sort of my inspiration for the rest of the floor plan down here downstairs upstairs is going to be a lot different so yeah, you'll have to wait and see what that looks like. But this steel blue and sunny yellow is one of my favorite color combos ever. It's so fun. It makes me so happy. Blue and yellow done right just look beautiful together. Absolutely beautiful. So, oh my gosh, that rug was really fun, but I thought the colors were just a little too much. Like that's when it started to border cheesy. <laughs> so I decided to use something else instead. I'm pretty sure I put a rug over there, but it's something different. Um, now putting the living room on this side. And yeah, these dark blue couches. Oh, so pretty. I'm definitely going to have to put a, par a carpet down here just to break it up a little bit. And oh, I keep going back to this fish one. It's so pretty. I don't think I've used it before. And I honestly don't think I've seen it used much. I'm not sure what pack it's from, but these koi fish are beautiful. And they already have like the blue and the yellow in there, plus the sort of pop of orange. So that definitely inspired some more um, orangey brownish tones down here. And that little side desk that is one square by one square is one of my favorite items. I love that we have that option because usually the desks are two squares wide. So having that option uh, again, I'm not sure what pack that came with. Maybe City Living. I don't remember. Just having that option is so versatile. And since we have the beautiful koi fish rug, we had to add a little tiny aquarium over there. And now putting the console table under the TV. Again, some more, some more of that orangey brownish color. Can't forget the radio. We need some music for our Sims. That is something I actually tend to forget a lot. But yeah, I did not forget a radio this time. We also have our gaming console and a tablet. All right, now there are a few empty walls and you guys know probably if you've watched my videos before that I don't like a lot of empty space. So I tend to do a lot of um, clutter or wall art or plants just to fill up every nook and cranny. And if you don't knew, if you, oh my gosh, I swear. See, this is where I say I can talk and then I lie because I really can't talk. If you didn't know that fact, now you know. And if you're new, please subscribe. Gonna throw that in here. I usually say it at the end, but I'm gonna say it now because I can't think of anything else to say. <laughs> but yeah, please subscribe if you like my videos and wanna see more because I post content daily, every single day, seven days a week. No shortage of videos here. But underneath the staircase, I decided to throw a few more bookshelves in here. And actually, I don't know if they're technically bookshelves. I think they're side tables, but either way, they are cute decor very cute. And that ugly brown door, I couldn't change because you can't change most of the walls. You can't change the windows and you can't change the doors that come into the apartment with, with a city living. Unfortunately, I wish I could at least change the color of that door, but you know what? We'll live with it and we'll be fine. And now I'm putting a bar over here. I really like this white one. I think it just pops against that yellow, yellow wall. And of course, throwing lots of plants in here. Oh my gosh, those little decanters on the bottom that are supposed to have like little wines and drinks and stuff are so pretty. Look, you can see them again. They're so cute. I love those. Which by the way, you can find really cool ones like that in Buy the Bug, which we will end up doing very shortly just to fill up this bar some more. And we have our little water pitcher and our cupcakes, which the cupcakes don't don't really fit. They're clipping into the window, so I think I'm going to move them over later, but yeah, this apartment's coming along pretty nicely, I think. I, if I if I should say about blah, blah, blah. Oh my gosh. Wow, that ruined the moment. Never mind that. <laughs> These chairs are pretty fun too. I've recently used them in one of my family homes and never really noticed them before, so I'm going to start using them more often. They have a really cool shape to them, and they come with few different interesting colors. Um, now I'm also playing around more with the cabinets. So of course you can go into the cabinets and click on them and there's other options. So you can find these tall ones, which again, something that I knew about in the back of my head, but I don't see used very often. So I decided to just play around with these a bit, make them look more like a, like a cohesive storage unit or something that you would see in the living room instead of the dining room or kitchen. Uh, they just look like little fun wardrobes and they had that that beautiful dark blue color in there. And then again, again, that, blah, blah, blah. Again, oh my gosh, should I just give up? Again, a pop of that orangey brownish color. So it just fit in perfect. 
Whoa, I maybe if I slowed down a bit, slowed down, just chilled a little bit, didn't talk so fast and didn't get so excited, I wouldn't like muddle my words all together. So we'll give that a go. But I'm pretty hyper right now. So I can't promise anything. No promises here. Um, but we have this little planner that looks like a hard boiled egg, which is totally cute. And of course, we're working on the balcony now. Um, I had this issue last time I worked on this apartment too. And I don't know if it's all the balconies in city living. But for whatever reason, once I place something, it won't let me pick it up and move it again like it's just really glitchy and that was super annoying but I mean eh, I guess I could have done more with this area but since it was so glitchy and I couldn't click on stuff and move it without like really just clicking 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 um yeah it just I don't know I couldn't really do exactly what I wanted out here but it's a balcony it's a thing and it's functional and it's it's got a grill. Come on, guys. You can barbecue out here. You can have some hot dogs and I don't know. Gosh, I said hot dogs funny. Um, <laughs> what else do you grill in The Sims? I don't even know. Um, I think I end up changing this carpet to a different color. Like, I love that lime green, but it just really stuck out. I think I change it later. But anyways, now moving on to the upstairs. And I really like these lighting fixtures. They hang a little bit low. So even though I use them downstairs, I do eventually change them to something different up here in the bedroom area. And this is sort of a master suite. The entire area is a master suite. And like I said, the color scheme is a little bit different here. Um, downstairs was more like bold primary colors. Uh, well, sort of. There was that minty green in the kitchen. But upstairs is definitely more of the pastel hues. We have this really pretty bubblegum baby pink and the mintish greenish turquoise color. Oh, so pretty. So pretty. I love that color combo. I, I There's a lot of color combos that I really, really like, but this pink and green one in any variation is probably my favorite. And it actually, actually looks like the Arizona green tea can, which was I've always have one next to me and I, I only like recently realized that it's my favorite color combo. It's literally, I'm holding it up right now. You guys can't see, but it is literally the same color of these walls. It has that minty green background and then the pink flowers. And yes, Arizona green tea is life. Um, but this room, this room is inspired by that, I guess you can say. I didn't really notice it when I was doing it, but that's what I'm saying now because it makes sense. Um, <laughs> so we have this four post canopy bed here and I'm trying to use some stuff that I don't use that often, I'm trying to just vary it up a bit. Uh, but I should use this bed more often because those little sheer curtains are to die for. I love them. They are so pretty so beautiful so just I don't know delicate and stuff oh my gosh oh my gosh what am I saying um <laughs> oh boy well let's move on let's move on got a little yellow chair here got to throw in a little pop of yellow kind of break up that pink and green a bit and over on the side I'm gonna build the bathroom I want to I want a pretty decent sized bathroom um ends up being a bit too narrow for my taste but I also wanted to be able to put a little study slash office area so I figured the bathroom would have to just compromise on space a bit but I think I put a tub in here, no shower. If I had more room, I would definitely put a separate shower as well. Um, it's starting to look a little Barbie. I don't know, kind of the pink and white really reminds me of the Barbie dream house that I had as a child. Oh, it looks fun. Uh, yeah, this is, I guess you could say this is Barbie inspired too in a way. Definitely the bathroom. The bathroom totally looks Barbie. Even like that little shampoo shampoo holder just reminds me of something that I would have had in my in my Barbie toy house. Um, there's my little stack of towels and a pretty pop of color with the tiny little flower. Throwing in my cheats here, going into bod bug so I can get those fun little items I love, such as the makeup. I really wish there was an actual makeup palette or a makeup box in The Sims 4. I do appreciate the vanity so much and and that's where these actually came from through Bad to Bug. Um, the vanity that comes with vintage glamour. Oh, and there's my little decanters I found. They're so cute. Ah! Oh, they're so pretty. Oh my gosh. This stuff makes me happy. The little clutter items are just the funnest thing in the world. Having these little cups and... Oh, what just happened? Whoops. Sorry about that. My screen went blank for a second. I freaked out. But yeah, just user error here. Anyways, back back to what I was talking about. I don't even know. I lost my train of thought now. But yes, clutter, clutter, debug items. So fun. So cute. Um, the only thing I don't like is usually the Sims start to like put them away. So if you use it for toys, even toys that aren't in buy debug, they start to clean up. And then if you pull like 
the books or the cups out of by debug to use as clutter items. Your Sims will just obviously pick them up and put them away. I wish they would just stay there as objects, but you know what? They're still fun and I still love to play with them. So anyways, now we're moving on to the office slash study portion of the master suite. And we have this fun desk that I've never really used before. It sort of has like an industrial vibe, kind of feels like something you would find at Ikea. Um, I really like it. I like the metal grating on it. Maybe it would be a cute place to like push pin or clip on like little photos and post-it notes and stuff, uh, which by the way, that bulletin board there is also really good for that. Again, not in real life or not in The Sims, but wait, no, yes. Oh gosh, what am I saying? You can't actually do that in The Sims, but I'm pretending if this was a real life apartment, you could is what I'm trying to say. Threw in a couple of bookshelves there. And this little room divider is so fun. I think it's from the restaurant pack. And I kind of wish I used that in my restaurant tour that I did for a Kimmy's Seafood Dine Out Challenge. Uh, one of my favorite builds that I've ever done. Well, actually credit to Kimmy, some guru Kimmy for making the shell of the building. And then I went ahead and furnished it. I will link that in the description below in case you guys want to check it out. But I really wish I used that divider in there because it would have went really well with my under the water, under the sea theme Ugh, in retrospect. Maybe I'll renovate it one day, but yeah. Oh, and I'm trying to build like a shoe rack <laughs> here. So I'm using the columns to make it look like they're kind of nailed into it or coming out of it. I don't think it really worked, but I wanted all the shoes displayed like that. So I just use your, use your imagination and pretend that looks like a shoe rack, please. <laughs> because I really wanted all the shoes just lined up like that. One thing I really wish we had more of was closet items, like clothing racks, like actual clothing racks, things that we can use for retail, jewelry, jewelry displays, purses, purse displays. Oh, Oh my gosh. And of course, like I said, the makeup, like the little makeup boxes. So if anyone from the Sims team is listening, please, please give me more clutter. <laughs> Oh God, I sound like a hoarder. Okay. Anyways, now we're going back to this outdoor area. Um, I think this is where I eventually changed the color of that rug. And of course I'm throwing in some lighting because it's so dark, even throwing in these lights, like it's still so dark at night, but I don't know not much I can do about that. I threw in as many lights as I physically could and it still, it still was pretty dark, but, um, I love that little table. The table has, that has like the fire coming out. Oh, it's so cool. I want one of those in real life, just a little table with flames. Um, yeah, cause pretty, cause pretty. Um, I also put like those little flower lights on top. Again, just trying to make it more bright out there. But anyways, time for the tour. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna throw in a couple screenshots here while I say what's gonna happen next so you guys know. But basically, the tour is next. The tour has music playing in the background so you don't have to listen to me yap. So I will go ahead and do my part of the outro, but definitely stay tuned to watch this because it's a cute little thing and there's Sims in there and yeah. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my videos. I will have a link to my gallery below. Of course, I will have a link to Max's channel and to her video to see this renovated apartment using custom content. Can't wait to see that. I hope you guys subscribe so you don't miss my next video and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye. Stay tuned for that tour. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing.
Wait guys, before you go anywhere, make sure to click over here to subscribe and click down here to watch some more videos. See you next time.